Hello there, welcome to our Gaganao culinary series. My name is Daniel Calvert. I am the chef of Belon restaurant in Hong Kong. Today we're going to be cooking our signature whole roasted chicken stuffed with spinach and mushrooms. What's special about our chicken at Belon is that we, uh, we will brine it for 12 hours to make sure it's completely juicy and retains, uh, retains an even cooking after we cook it. We're gonna be made with spinach and mushrooms with uh, chicken mousse as well underneath. The first thing we're going to do is make the brine in which we'll keep the chicken for 12 hours. When making our brine, it's really important that we cook the salt, sugar, garlic and thyme uh, at the beginning just to make sure all the flavors come out and the salt and sugar is evenly uh, dissolved. So we're going to start with half of the, the water in your recipe. We're going to make it hot to dissolve our salt and sugar. The other half will be over here, nice and cold, ready for the chicken. First of all, take your garlic and cut it in half. Bring your water to the boil, add your sugar. Add your salt, peppercorns, bunch of thyme, and your head of garlic. Bring this water to the boil and allow the salt to dissolve. Take your maltose, which is inside the, inside the brine, so make sure you get a really beautiful crispy skin after your chicken, and fold in your spoonful of maltose inside. Bring everything to the boil. If you don't stir the maltose, it's, it's quite likely to burn, so just make sure it's uh, stirred and easily dissolved, please. Once your brine comes to the boil, you want to take the rest of the cold water over here. We're going to pour the hot water inside the brine. Leave all your garlic, thyme, maltose, everything inside it. You're going to allow that to cool. It's going to take about two hours in the fridge. Once the brine is cold, we're going to put the chicken into the brine for 12 hours in the fridge overnight. So take your chicken. We want to check inside the cavity, make sure it's nice and clean inside. There's no innards, there's no livers, there's no blood. It's going to make the chicken taste a little irony and sour. Turn it over, look at the cavity inside here behind the neck, and make sure you remove any excess fat. This will help you a lot when you're stuffing the chicken later on. Using your finger, separate the skin from the breast. All the way up, past the breastbone, right up to the top. Both sides. If you don't do this properly, you're going to make uh, the fast will not be evenly distributed throughout your chicken. Okay, just like that. Next step, we're going to take the chicken and put it inside the cold brine. When you put it in, make sure you get the whole cavity right here full of the brine. Otherwise, it will, it will not brine evenly. Once the chicken is inside the brine, put it in the refrigerator overnight for 12 hours. The next part of the recipe, I'm going to show you how to make the fast that goes underneath the skin of the chicken. The, the fast is the part that protects the breast from overcooking while the legs stay nice, moist and juicy. In our fast, it has spinach, mushrooms and chicken mousse. First of all, what we're going to do, we're going to saute our mushrooms. Take a pan and gently melt some salt, uh, unsalted butter inside. Once the butter starts to color, add a pinch of salt and add your mushrooms. It's important to cook out a lot of the water and the mushrooms because if you don't add it, if you don't remove enough water, your fast will be very, uh, very soft. It will be hard to work with. Once your mushrooms start to color, add your spinach and wilt it down. Sometimes the mushrooms soak up a lot of butter. Just add a touch more if you need it. Once the mushrooms are colored and the spinach is cooked, we're going to take the, the mushrooms and spinach, put them into the fridge to cool down just a little bit, and then we're going to finely chop them. Once the spinach and mushrooms are nice and fine, we're gonna transfer them into a bowl and get ready to make our chicken mousse. The next part of our fast is gonna be making our chicken mousse that goes with the spinach and mushrooms that we cooked earlier on. So take your chicken breast, clean off any fat and sinew you may find because you won't be able to puree it later. It's important to work quickly so that the chicken doesn't warm up. If, you, if the ingredients get too warm, the, 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 the mousse will break. Take your chicken, put it in the food processor. The first part of this recipe is to blend the chicken with the egg whites. Make sure it's completely incorporated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with blending the chicken breast. Blend the chicken nice and fine, and then we're going to add the egg whites next. And a pinch of salt. Halfway through, just take a spatula and make sure the chicken is scraped down around the edges so you don't have any parts that won't be the same texture. The next part is the most important. We're gonna add the cream to the chicken. Think of it like a mayonnaise. If you add the cream too quickly, the, the, the mousse will break. If you add it too slowly, the mousse will break. So just add it slowly and steady and be confident. So once you've finished blending the chicken, 
you should have something that looks a bit like this. You can see from here that it's emulsified, it's white, it's nice and cold still, and it's nice and firm, okay? Once we have the chicken mousse finished, we're gonna add it to our spinach and mushrooms that we chopped earlier on in the day. So first of all, mix your spinach and mushrooms well. Make sure they're evenly combined. Slowly add your chicken mousse. Beat the two together until the color is nice and homogenous. It's important to work quickly so the fast does not warm up at this point. Next stage, we're gonna add some chopped tarragon. Take your tarragon, just roughly chop. Mix the two together. Season with a touch of salt and pepper. Finished. Once the chicken's been out the brine for two days, you should see it's nice and dry, firm because of the salt and ready to stuff. So if you look under here where we took out the, the, the fat from the cavity earlier, that's where we're gonna stuff the chicken. Take your fuss, put it inside a piping bag so it's easier to pipe inside the chicken. We're gonna do about 40 grams of each uh, fuss on each breast. Come from the back, each side. Taking the time to smooth out all the way to the top of the breast. Nice and even from top to bottom. You have fuss all the way up here and all the way down here. Next thing we'll do, we're gonna tie the chicken for even cooking. So take your string. You want the string to be about double arm length, like this. With a chicken head facing you, take your wings and fold them underneath. Just so they have the bird has somewhere to sit on. Take your legs, cross together. Make sure the string is even at both sides and fold underneath the chicken. We're gonna cross that over once, twice, into a figure of eight. Pull the string together to cross the legs. Taking your thumbs, push down the thighs so you have more height with the legs. We're gonna tie back over once, twice, three times to make sure it's secure. Use your fingers to cross the legs at the front and pull to fasten. From this side, we once again, we're gonna wrap the right hand side underneath the left hand side. Once it crossed over, bring the string behind the breast and tie it at the neck. Once again, once, twice, three times. Take a second to use your fingers to make sure the fast is evenly distributed. The drumsticks are pushed back and seal the chicken. Once the chicken is tied and the wings are tucked underneath, take a toothpick and push it through the chicken's head. Tie the head to the body for presentation. Once the chicken is tied and ready to go, we're gonna steam the, uh, the chicken for seven minutes to set the skin. This will make sure the skin stays crispy and golden. So take your steamer, set it to 90 degrees, 100% humidity. We're gonna steam the chicken for seven minutes. After seven minutes, take the chicken out the steamer. and place on your chopping board. Once the chicken's steamed, you can see that the skin is firm, partially cooked, and it'll dry out very quickly so we can make the chicken nice golden brown later in the oven. We're gonna let that dry for about half an hour. After it's dried for about half an hour, take a piece of alum aluminum foil. We're gonna wrap the feet and the, feet and the head. This will prevent them burning in the oven. Take each foot, wrap it nice and tight in the foil. Repeat the same with the head. Preheat your oven at 200 degrees, fan full. Take your chicken, straight into the oven for fi uh, 15 minutes. Then we're gonna turn it after 15 minutes and take it up to rest for half an hour. After about half an hour, take the chicken out of the oven. And quickly remove the foil. Once the chicken's cooled down a little bit, take the toothpick out of the head. Next up, take the string off. Take in the, take in the string from the feet at the front. If you cut all the way through, it'll be easy to remove the string at the back. And start with the legs. Make an incision between the leg and the breastbone. All the way down through. Turn the chicken on its side and pull up the chicken all the way back. Using your knife, come around the back of the bird so you don't miss the oyster. Repeat on the other side. 
just turning over on the other side, all the way to the backbone. Next part, we're gonna take the breast off the bone. This is the part that needs to be most gentle. Because the wishbone's already taken out the chicken, we're gonna start at the top, move all the way down to the bottom, straight through. Using your knife, push the breast off just a little bit and make nice, beautiful, long strokes all the way down to the bottom. Turn around and do the same the next side. Finally, the wings will come off the bottom of the chicken. Don't take these off first because it won't be stable. All the way through and turn the next side. Take the legs, cut between the thigh and the drumstick, all the way through the bone. Repeat on the second side. Last part, we'll take the breast. Just trim off the top of the breast and the bottom of the breast. Second side and cut in half. That's it, finished.